Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, this morning we are headed over. I say we, I'm headed over to um, another YouTuber's house. So we have a little project we're going to get taken care of today. So I got the truck loaded up. We've got several different tools um, in here. So if that tells you anything, we're going to be doing a little bit of work. And I got tools back here. So based on those tools, Maybe you can guess where I'm going, maybe not. But uh, like I said, I was supposed to be over there around eight o'clock is when we're gonna get started. So I'm headed that way right now. So we're getting over here about halfway and the radar looks like this. So I'm hoping that the rain has uh, moved on through and that um, it's maybe cooled it off for us, but it looks like it's all gonna go north of where we're actually going to work at, but it's going to be really close. All right, so if you guys were able to guess, right. Moorhead Homestead. Hey guys. Uh, we visited already, you may have seen us talk about uh, coming over here to, to help out with this fence work. Um, so Bo's had goats for a while now. A couple months, yeah. had them at the in-laws place and- Since Christmas actually. And it's time now to give them a permanent home. Time to bring them home. Bring if you guys haven't checked out Moorhead Homestead, then you're missing a lot because Bo's been posting videos two to three times four times a week sometimes yeah there a couple weeks ago i did it every day it was a lot of work but yeah so he's been staying hooked up um uh getting some great content out and just uh you know sharing what his family's up to and um all the stuff they got going on so if somebody hasn't seen moorhead homestead you want to tell them just quick what your channel's about yeah so uh we're just a kind of a family friendly channel kind of like walker farm fam we just kind of show our daily lives uh, kids do a lot of work around here and, and they like uh they like doing it. Hunter wakes up every morning and he's out in his rubber boots and underwear checking eggs and stuff like that. And we, do, we got some goats, we got uh, turkey, chickens, rabbits, uh, got one quail left. So yeah, we just play with the farm animals and do, do some projects. Yeah, just real life stuff. You get to see a lot of, uh, of what life's really like when you're starting out on a homestead and getting your fence established. and A lot of work. Getting your pens built. He's yeah. checked out Moorhead Homestead. Head over there, subscribe. Um, give them a comment, say Walker Farm Fam sent you. Uh, they're great friends of ours. Bo, Bo um, coaches with Cassie a little bit. And so we've got to know them over the years and they're just a great family. We can't say that enough, um, how good of a family they are. Super clean family channel that you can turn on and let your whole family watch. And that's what we're always looking for. That's right. So anyway, just follow us along as we get this uh, goat pen. Hopefully most of it built today. We'll see how far we get. See. We already are lucky that the rain dodged us and we got our first set of um, T-Post in. So hopefully it goes. It's going pretty quick. Thank you guys so much for um, following along today. We appreciate our subscribers. You guys are the best. And uh, thanks again for coming along. Well, Moorhead Homestead's becoming a fence pro. Oh, trying to. That's right. I got a good trainer. Well, we don't know about that. It's questionable. <laughs> but he's doing great. We got the first section finished up here. Just have to cut our wire and tie it off. But PT post in, wires up, clips Ooh. on. What's your favorite part about fencing, Bo? Uh, none of it. None of it? <laughs> <laughs> no, it ain't too bad. We're in the shade right now, so it's still pretty cool in the morning. Sometimes you gotta work smarter, not harder. About a hundred ways of doing things, but this is just one of them. So as you 
as you just saw, Gary went over and helped out uh, Bo and Lindy over at Moorhead Homestead. And uh, they got a lot of stuff done there. As always, we got chores to do. Uh, we had my nephew come over and uh, niece and, and Ransom and Jacob had a lot of fun. And I caught them eating sunflower seeds straight out of the sunflower head. So take a look at this. Eating sunflower seeds right out of the sunflower head that you got in on your tractor. Oh my, you guys are some country boys. Who's this with you, Ransom? Who are you? Tell them your name. Jacob. You gotta look at them. You wanna be on YouTube? Jacob. Yeah, that got your attention. Do you watch all of our videos, oh, Jacob? I got one. Hey, Jacob. Yeah? What should they do if they like our channel? Hit that bell and, and notification and go for it. Good job, bub. Jacob is a faithful YouTube watcher here at Walker Farm Fam. And so we just want to say thank you, buddy, for watching us. And um, we can't wait for you to come out to the farm again. So a lot of you had asked how the bull got home. So uh, the neighbor came over with his truck and trailer to get the bull. Gary got a little bit of that on video, but not a whole lot. It was a real rainy day. Bull has returned safely. Everybody's good. Um, Easy Street's good. Uh, the fence is put back. So everything's going fine with that. Um, but Gary did get a little bit of that on video as well. All right. Well, neighbor bull, it's time to go home. Here comes your ride. Easy Street is still in his pen. He'll be in here for probably the next three months. He's a good guy once he's in his pen. He's not much of a problem. Ready to eat, buddy? You wanna come eat? All right, come on. So Easy Street is gonna get about a half a gallon of grain or so. He just gets a little bit every day, hey, buddy. So we'll keep Easy Street in this pen for the next, uh, 90 days uh, we'll turn them out um, around november 1st and at that point whatever cows he breeds will be uh, born um, for next fall so keeping him up at this point for about three months will keep us from having any calves born in the uh, really hot summer heat Putting him up gives him a break as well and lets him recondition a little bit, which he really didn't lose much condition um, from being out. He still looks pretty good. So as you guys have seen, we um, have these little chickens that we got from our neighbor who, um, who had gotten them uh, from the local farm store and were able uh, to raise them. So they gave them to us. They've and gotten- And I'm gonna get in. You're gonna get in. They've gotten really I'm big. Get in. Yeah. And outgrown their pen. So we had this rabbit tractor um, and we have put our chickens in there uh, for now until they're big enough to go in with the other chickens. So let's take a look at them. So they got their water right here. I'm about to fill it back up. And then they got their feed over here. And yep, and we'll fill that back up, won't we? So they're doing good in here. Uh, this lid goes down so that nothing, nothing can get to them. We've also added these cages on top because this netting, our cat and Hank like to sit on it and they make it sink down and it keeps ripping. So when I put that down, I put this over the top so that they can't lay and uh, make that rip but they have gotten so big and i think they're loving being down here on this grass all right buddy let's go get some feed so we can fill it up you think they want you to do that mm -hmm. oh 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 it almost flew out come on let's shut the door 
When Gary got home from Moorhead Homestead the other day, uh, he came carrying something up that he found at the end of the driveway and Mazzy lost her mind. Little hint, it wasn't Twinkie, but it was something similar. All right, so I just got home and when I got to the end of our driveway, look who I found. Never seen it before. We don't really have any neighbors close, but what do you think, Cassie? Mazzy's gonna flip. If I show the kids, it might be over. So I'm gonna tell them that I found it, and then if somebody asks or we yep. talk to the neighbors and it belongs to somebody, it'll go somewhere else. But if not, this little cat might have a new home on Walker Farm. It seems friendly. Yeah, it is. It's one. If a right neighbor now. asks for it, we gotta give it back. But I'm yep. gonna follow you to show Mazzy. All right, let's go see what Mazzy thinks. Joe, Hank, don't even think about it. Mazzy, 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 M